God provides. So I, I had to take a faith step in believing that even though I was a horrible sinner full of arrogance, anger, being a man who used to beat his ex-wife, uh, being a man who was never home, constantly committing adultery, even though I knew that and in my heart my flesh was telling me constantly there's no way that God can accept you. There's no way he can accept you. But still, I was able to take that leap and still um, trust him to that his word is true, that he will forgive me. Everything changed inside of me with my faith step. Everything. I don't think the same. I don't walk the same. I don't do anything the same as I used to. Everything changed. When I fully gave my life to the Lord, my children began to blossom into these beautiful young people that had personalities and weren't hiding them away because their mom was a drug addict. They just began to bloom. My husband was diagnosed with two cancers in 2015 and had to be put on chemotherapy that cost $16,000 a month and hormone treatments a Zolodex injection is $2,000 every 90 days. And now he takes pills also that are almost $10,000 a month. We don't have that kind of money. But for the past two years, God has provided the medication that he needed. And people look at him, they don't know that he has stage four cancer. They don't know what God has done because he doesn't look sick. And I think that's all because of being faithful. Sister Westlake said, Shh, God's doing something. And I believe that he's working on something. And if I had to be the example here on earth, but I'm going to be that example because he might not cure me here, but I know what forever is. And I don't want to be in hell forever. I'd rather be worshiping him. My mother was a drug addict, and which that caused me. I, I was an alcoholic when I was 13. I started drinking when I was 13. Um, had a failed marriage, became a cocaine addict, um, and found myself homeless, not with my children anymore. One night I was sitting in my hotel room, a little dive hotel, because that's all I could afford, all by myself, not raising my children. And this scripture that my mom used to say all the time came into my head. For God's gifts and his call are irrevocable. He never withdraws them once they're given, and he does not change his mind about those whom he gives his grace or to whom he sends his call. And that, it just came in my mind, and I looked it up, and, and that, that was my come to Jesus moment. I had messed everything up, couldn't do it on my own anymore. And it was like, Jesus, you ready to try it your way. I know what's back there. I know what's in my past. And, and if he can take that mess that I was and use me, then he can, he can set anybody free.